In real projects, your data can be stored typically in data warehouses or data lakes inside many, many different tables. And the first step in any visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI is to connect those tables and combine them in one big data model. So let's start with the question, what is data modeling? Data modeling is the process of organizing and representing data in a clear and understandable way. Each data model has entities. Entities could be things like customers and products or events like orders. And inside those entities, we have informations and we call them attributes, like the first name and the last name inside the entity customers. And we describe in the data model how those entities are are connected or related to each others and we call it relationships. This data model, this visual representation of the data makes it easier for us and for programs to understand the data, which is really important for making decisions and improving performance of the business. Alright, so we have three different types of data models at different levels of abstraction. First, we have the conceptual data model. This type is high level representation of the data model without going in details on how the data model is implemented. It's like a map that shows the important entities and their relationships. And we usually use this type to explain the data models to business analysts and stakeholders to understand the big picture of the data. The second type is the logical data model. In this data model, we go more in details on how the data is structured and organized. We define in this model the attributes of each entity and it includes as well constraints and more details about the relationships between the entities. This data model is usually used by database designers and developers as a blueprint for the implementations. And the third type is the physical data model. This type represents the actual implementations of the data model. It includes all the technical details about how to store the data, like the data types of the attributes, the primary and foreign keys, indexes, and so on. This data model is used by developers to create and manage the databases. All right, so let's summarize. The conceptual data model shows the big picture of the data. The logical data model provides a blueprint for the implementations, and the physical data model shows how the data is implemented in the databases. And Tableau did adopt both the logical and physical data models in the data sources, but we don't have conceptual data model in Tableau. Don't worry about it, I will show you more details later. Alright, so now for analytics and especially for data warehousing and business intelligence, we need special data models that are optimized for queries and for analytics. It should be flexible and easy to understand. And for that, we have two special data models. First one is the star schema. Star schema has a central fact table and surrounded by dimensional tables. The fact tables contains events and the dimensions hold descriptive information. The relationship between the fact and the dimension tables form a star shape, and that's why we call it a star schema. And the other data model, we call it Snowflake Schema. It is very similar to Star Schema, but the dimensions here are breaking down into sub-dimensions. Normalized tables or dimensions means that those tables are broken down into small pieces to avoid having big tables or big dimensions, which leads to many data duplications and slow performance. The shape of these data models looks like a snowflake. So star schema is a simple and easy to understand data model and we usually use it if our data set is small or medium. In the other hand, the snowflake schema is more complex but it eliminates the duplicates and reduces the storage spaces. And we usually use it if we have a large data sets. All right, so the data sets that I've prepared for this Tableau course are using the star schema data model just to keep it simple and easy to follow. All right, so our data model has a name and we call it Star Schema. If you're going to work on real projects, you're going to hear about the Star Schema a lot. So Star Schema has mainly two types of tables, facts and dimensions. For example, we have the table customers. It describes each customers by their first name, last name, country, and so on. So customers is a dimension table. And we have another dimension table in our data model. It is the products. So products table describes as well each product by their 
name and category so it is as well a dimension all right so now let's talk about the second type of tables in the star schema we have the facts for example let's have a look at the big table in the middle we can see three things you can see first a lot of keys to the other dimensions we have the order id customer id product id and we can see dates so we have the order date the shipping date and the third thing we can see a lot of numbers so we have sales quantities profits we call them as well measures so if you see those three things that means we have an event or fact table so facts connect dimensions together it has dates and as well measures okay so to summarize how do we decide if a table is dimension or fact if you have a table that contains information about a physical person or an object like employee customers products then this table is a dimension and usually they are small tables and in the other hand if you have a table that contains events for example we have sales orders logs atm transactions so any tables that has events transactions and has time in it we call it facts and usually they are really huge tables okay so in our data model in the data sets we have two dimensions we have the customers and products and in the middle we have our fact the orders all right so now if you hear in your project someone talking about star schemas and so on you know exactly what they mean it's very important concept in analytics and bi world if you are using tableau or power bi all right so with that you have learned some important concepts in data model Link. Next, we will learn the Tableau data model and the two layers, physical and logical layers. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.